Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips. And in this video, I'm speaking about Zyro and how you can build an e-commerce store using Zyro's website builder. Now I have done a tutorial before on Zyro and I'll leave that in the description down below. So if you're struggling with building out your Zyro website, I highly recommend taking a look at that tutorial. But this video is kindly sponsored by Zyro. They wanted to give me access to the back end of their website and show you some of the e-commerce features that they actually have available on their platform to help you to make an informed decision as to whether or not Zyro is a good fit for your e-commerce business. And you can choose between either using a template that Zyro have or you can use the AI website generator which basically takes a lot of the work out of creating the website for you and it allows you to kind of generate a website even quicker. So if you're strapped for time at the moment or you're not really that great at creating and editing websites, then that might be a good option for you. But I'm gonna go down the use a template route and click on choose a template just so you can see some of the templates that are available. So obviously for the purposes of this video, we're speaking about e-commerce, but there's loads of different templates that you can actually choose from uh, with regards to, to Zyro. Um, but as you can see up here, you can actually just look at some of their e-commerce templates and you want to kind of have a look through and see which one you think might match the look and feel that you're going for with your website. Obviously, you're going to want to change it a little bit, make it your own, make sure you're using your branded colors for your platform as well. But you kind of want to have a look through this and see, okay, which one looks best. You can actually preview some of them as well. So I recommend looking through um, all of them and seeing which one best fits what you're going for um, and then preview them. And the good thing about the preview as well is you can actually see how the website would look on many different devices. So on a computer, on a tablet device and on a mobile phone device as well. Obviously that's really important. So when you're going through the process of creating your website before you publish, make sure you check how your website shows up on different screens so you know that you're creating an optimized experience for your users. Um, so once you've uh, actually picked on a design, you can actually start building and it will take you into the editor. So I'm actually going to go back to the design that I've already started to create and show you how to use some of the e-commerce functionalities. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail about how to kind of edit your website and how to add different elements because like I mentioned, I did actually go through all of that in my first video, so make sure you go and check that out if you're struggling in any way, shape or form. But just as a brief reminder, when you hover over any section or any element, uh, you can actually edit that section and element. So I'm in this top section here, as you can see, it says uh, section up there. And if I click on that, then I can change the background. It takes me to settings. I can duplicate, I can change the position and move this element uh, you know, below this if I wanted to. So you can kind of make any changes you want just by hovering over it. Um, I can also add sections as well. If I go into the margins of different sections, then I can add a section um, and I can add what I want there. Um, I can also add elements by coming up here and adding an element. Um, I can change my website style. I can add a blog and uh, we're gonna go into online store in a second, but I can also add pages and navigation as well. Um, and it, like I said, if you hover over any particular section, then you can make changes to that section or element. Um, so I kind of wanted to speak about adding a e-commerce section. So let's say for this page, you wanted to add an e-commerce section where people can access your products. You can click on add section here and you can add online store. And once your online store populates, you can actually click on that or you can add a store page or insert your store here. So I'm going to uh, insert my store here. So now on this particular section of this page, I actually have my store. Now you might be thinking, how do you go about editing your actual store itself? Well, if you come up here to section and click on that, you can actually go and manage your store. You can also change the background of the store and the look and the feel. You can change the settings, um, so on, so on and so forth. Um, and you know, as you can see, your customer can go to their account, they can track orders, they can favor it, um, and they can add to their shopping cart as well. Um, so you can also, um, as well as clicking manage store here, you can also go to this online store section and this will take you to where you can manage your store as well. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open store manager to kind of show you 
uh, the different things you can do to edit and manage your Zyro e-commerce store. So Zyro kind of give you this really helpful uh, checklist of things that you can do with regards to your setting up your store. So the very first thing is your account is created, that's done, so that's great. And then you can add your products or your services. So I'm going to click on that. That's one of the most important elements. And as you can see, obviously, um, there's already some, some uh, items here populated. And obviously, these won't be your items. These will be uh, items that Zyro have just had here as placeholders. Um, so you can actually add new products by coming up here and clicking add new product. And you can add your uh, images, uh, your, the name of the product, the description, the price, and so on and so forth. Um, and then you can upload your images. So it's fairly easy to do all of that. Um, but I'm going to leave this page and I'm going to edit the products that Zyra already have just to kind of show you an example of what's possible here. So as you can see, this is already populated. So like I said, you're, go you're going to want to like delete these ones. Um, it's easy to delete. You can just click on that X and it will get rid of it. Um, and or you can upload, you can upload new ones as well, new pictures of your actual products. So you want to make sure you give your products a good name. Um, I will be putting out an SEO video for Zyro where we speak more about keywords and how to name your products and your descriptions and so on and so forth. But you want to make sure that you have a name that's not just catchy, but that's also search engine friendly so that your Zyro products uh, can actually start ending up in the natural search results of Google as well when people are searching for whatever product it is that you are selling on your site. And you also want to make sure that you have an in-depth description as well, again, containing the keywords that you want to be found for in Google. But also you have to remember that it's not just search engine friendly that you want to make your description, but you want to make your description enticing as well. I've done videos in the past of how to make your, your product descriptions enticing so that people are more likely to buy. And I'll leave some of those videos in the description down below. So make sure you go and check those out and have a look at those as well. Um, but also you can actually utilize uh, your SKU if you have one. And also you can stipulate how much your product weighs. You can set your price for your product. But what I really like about uh, Zyro is you can manage your pricing options as well. So here's the compared to price. Um, so you can actually put your, your actual price. And maybe if you're comparing to competitors, maybe your competitors sell at $100. So you can have that price there and say, look, we sell at 44, our competitors sell at $100. Or if you're running some sort of sale or discount, maybe during the, the summer or Christmas holidays or whatnot, then you can, you can put that there as, look, this is our usual price, but at the moment we're selling it at a, at a cheaper price. And that kind of price comparison can help you to increase sales and also increase urgency. If people are realizing that, oh wait, the price is lower than it usually is, let me buy it now before the prices go up. Um, so you can also do bulk discount pricing. So encourage customers to buy larger quantities with their volume. So when you click on that, if someone buys, for example, five rather than one unit, then they will get a slight discount. So each, you know, each unit that they buy, you can actually encourage them by discounting your price a little bit. So that's a really cool feature as well with Zyro. Um, and one thing you, you want to kind of keep in mind is shipping costs as well, making sure your shipping costs don't go out of control and someone is buying loads of units. Um, and you can also enable pay what you want as well. So that's more for donations. If it's a charitable cause that you're creating this Zyro website for, then you can utilize that as well. Um, now you can also uh, enable product availability. And I highly recommend that you do that if you have a limited amount of stock. Um, you can also manage your stock as well. So if you've only got a certain amount of a particular product, then you want to say that. How much have you got? Have you got 10 units? Have you got 100? You know, put that there. If it's unlimited, you can select that as well. And you can also uh, send yourself a note when your stock reaches a certain level so you don't run out of stock. So this is really important as well. If you have multiple products in your Zyro website and there's particular products that sell really well, you don't want to run out of stock with that particular product because that's costing you sales. That's an opportunity cost that you do not, you do not need in your business. So you can get Zyro to actually send you a message when you're running low on stock. So you know to send a message to your supplier or to make another order so you don't run out and miss uh, potential sales. Now here you can actually add or edit um, a little ribbon. So um, as you can see up here in the example, 
uh, you can actually say, you know, sale or, or new, you know, or, or, or limited. So these kind of buzzwords and you, and that, if you put that ribbon here, that will kind of just be there as a way again to help you to increase sales, to encourage people to buy, to encourage people to, to not delay the purchase and buy now, especially if it's limited. They're like, oh, it's a limited edition. Let me make sure I buy it today because it might not be there next week. So these kind of things can help you with that as well. Um, so you can also add product subtitle here. Now, again, the more text you have um, can help um, not only to entice your customers to make a buying decision, but this text can also be read by the search engines as well. So, you know, you might want to add a little tagline here um, to kind of describe what your product is about. And that can help you again with SEO and also increasing your sales. So I kind of want to save these changes and go on to attributes. Um, so you can add different attributes to your products as well, and you can manage these attributes. So as you, as you can see, the default ones are UPC and brand. Um, you can also go over to options as well. Now this is really important. The, the, the default one is size. So you can, um, you might have a different price for small, medium and large in your business. And you can actually select how much small is and you can enter a price here for small, maybe small is uh, $30. So you can put that in there. Um, maybe medium is $40 and maybe large is your $44.95. And you can also go to your variations here as well. And you can uh, select new variation. And in, in terms of size, you can add your SKU, you can add your weight, you can add the price of that particular size, and you can manage your stock for that particular size as well. So maybe you only have uh, five of your smalls, you can add five. And again, you can select, you know, send me a note when quantity reaches a certain amount. And you can also add other variations by going to options and click add new option. So let's say you wanted to add a variation of color as well. Maybe you sell this particular product in different colors. Um, you can add your variations, maybe red, um, add another value, maybe blue, add another value, maybe green and you'll do the same thing if they're different prices then you can add your different prices as well um you know you can go to variations um and then you can go to um add variation and then go to color red um and maybe red in small um has a particular weight or a particular upc or a particular price you can put that there and you can also manage how much stock you have of small reds so um, here you can really kind of get granular so that people can select exactly what they want um, and exactly what they need. So I highly recommend having a play about with it, particularly if you have a product that potentially has a lot of different sizes or different variations in some way, shape or form, and the price kind of affects the, the, the variation, then I recommend having a play about with that until you get it right. So you can also add files as well. So this particular product, this the one that I'm editing is the sample black dress. Um, so let's say, for example, your product comes with a PDF or some sort of download, maybe it's instructions or whatever it is. It's when someone buys, you want to send them something as an attachment, then you can upload your file here from your computer and make sure that that gets sent to them when they actually make their purchase. Um, you can also add tax and shipping information as well. Is this product going to be free shipping? Is it fixed per item? Is it specific methods of uh, this product or use your store's shipping methods? And you can go, you can click here and change your shipping settings as well. Um, and then also, you know, it talks about taxes. So taxes for all your products are calculated automatically based on your customer location. Um, so you can also put your um, your weight in that weight and dimensions. So specific weights and dimensions to obtain precise courier calculated shipping rates for your customers. Um, so you can put your weights and dimensions in here. Um, also, it gives you SEO settings. So here you can change your meta title and your meta description. So this is the title and description that will show up for this page in Google. And it gives you like a little example of how it would look in Google as well. Um, so you, again, you want to put your keywords in here and your keywords in here. Um, like I said, I will be doing a video specific 
on Zyro SEO as well. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you click that bell notification button as well so you don't miss when I put that video live. And also a really cool feature is related products. So I speak all of the time about, you know, increasing your average order cart value. And that's one thing that related products can do. We see all of the time on platforms such as Amazon, when you're about to make a purchase, Amazon will always show you, hey, people who bought this product also bought this product. So you can actually add that to your Zyro website too. So you can come here and assign products that are related to this particular product that people are going to buy. So when they're buying that, people can see, oh, you know, this is related. Maybe with this black dress, there's a pair of black shoes or there's a handbag or whatever it is that is related and people might leave with all of those products or, or some of those products in their cart as well as the product that they initially came to buy. The aim of the game in e-commerce is to get people to buy as much as possible and also to come back to your website at a later date as well. But as you guys know, this channel is all about marketing. So I'm gonna kind of show you some of the options that Zyro have with regards to marketing your store as well. Um, so if you go into this left-hand column, column here, you can go into marketing and I'm gonna kind of show you what is possible and what Zyro have to offer. So you can advertise across Google, you can get started with Google ads and running um, advertisement campaigns on Google. I will be doing like specific videos on how to run effective Google ad campaigns, but I do have a couple of already that I have already kind of put out on this channel and I'll leave some in the description down below as well as some of my Facebook ad um, tips and strategies as well. So you can promote and sell on Facebook as well um, and you can click get started with that. Um, so you can also convert abandoned carts to sales as well. So when someone actually adds an order to their cart but they don't end up making a purchase, you can actually try to recover that sale by sending them emails to remind them to finish their order. So that is really important. I highly recommend if you are starting your website with Zyro, your e-commerce business, make sure that you go and connect um, your abandoned cart uh, details as well. You can also create coupons as well and you can promote those coupons during particular times when you're having sales. Um, you can offer discounts to encourage purchases. Um, you can also reach past customers with remarketing as well. So you can launch remarketing campaigns that is basically targeting people who've already visited your website or who are already on your email list or who already follow you on social media. This is warmer traffic and people who are a lot more likely to convert. So this can perform really well for you. Um, you can also retain customers um, by using automated emails and, and starting an email newsletter. Again, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, if you don't know about email marketing or what email marketing is all about, again, I'll leave some resources in the description so make sure you go and check that out. But email marketing is a great way to not just get people to buy from your store, but to encourage them to come back at a later date and buy again because repeat customers is what really makes an e-commerce business grow. And again, you can um, connect all of your uh, analytics, your Google analytics and get reports and insights from your store as well. So you know what people are doing when they come to your site. So you know how to improve upon your site using this data and analytics. But I really do hope that this video helped you out. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description down below to where you can access Zyro. Um, they've given me a discount code. If you use the code day tips on checkout, then you can actually get 10% off your purchase for any of the Zyro packages that you might go for. So again, I'll leave all of those details in the description down below. So make sure you go and click through and start your e-commerce business today. I also have the formula guys. This is the free guide to generating leads and sales for your business online. As you can see, there's a copy next to me. I'll also leave a copy somewhere on this screen and in the description down below. So if you are starting your e-commerce business and you want some help with how to market that, how to promote on Facebook, on Google, how to get it found in search engines, and you know how to drive quality traffic and customers to your e-commerce site, make sure you go and grab yourself your free copy. Um, but I really do hope that this video brought you value and if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.